a Terraria. In a time where finding a new game, or finding a new game that actually holds your interest, consists of far too much left clicking on the next button. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. No, Terraria is one of those games that can always be counted on for a good time. If you haven't played it, what are you even doing? It's normally 10 bucks, but frequently goes on sale for like five. If you like exploring, building, and especially fighting and looting in any capacity, I guarantee you will not get more value out of your money than with Terraria. But here's a little secret for you. You want to know what's even better than Terraria? All right, come here. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here. Okay. Modded. Terraria. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there, baby. Mm, 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 mm. But would you, I don't have a computer and I can only play Terraria on my Switch and my Switch can't play modded and- Well then you better get a computer. I don't care how, use your dad's work laptop, your grandparents' beige dinosaur. Heck, even go to your local library and hit up a membership. Maybe read some books too while you're at it. <laughs> okay, let's not get too crazy here. There are a lot of reasons why modded Terraria is absolutely bussin'. But if I had to pinpoint the main source of the bus, it would be the Calamity mod. This bad boy straight up slaps for real, for real. 100, 100, no cap. Uh, all right, I'm done. I won't dump an absolute buttload of Calamity info at you in this video because, oh, hey, look at that entire video dedicated to the Calamity mod. That's crazy. But you do need a little context before we go on. You know, Master Mode, the new hardest difficulty that was added in Terraria's 1.4 update? Yeah, well, Calamity has its own version of Master Mode called Revengeance, but unlike Master, Revengeance is actually fun and engaging with new mechanics and, more importantly, new loot, whereas Master Mode is a simple health and damage increase with no real reward attached. Ew, stinky. But I'm not playing on Revengeance. Rather, I'm not only playing on Revengeance. No, no, no. I'm also on Death Mode, which admittedly is kind of like Master Mode, where it's only really an increased enemy health and damage. It doesn't really offer anything in return for your time and effort aside from conquering something hard for the sake of conquering something hard. <gasps> but I digress. Because Death Mode ain't even the end of what we're playing on. Calamity, along with every other mod, has been in the Terraria 1.4 update oven for quite some time now, and baking in the oven with it was a a brand new pinnacle difficulty, something to truly test even the most veteran of Terraria players. <laughs> Rather than going over all of the changes that come with playing on Revengeance, Death, and Malice mode all simultaneously, I'll instead just show you King Slime. Here's a good old fashioned regular King Slime. Now, here he is on Revengeance mode. Noticeable differences, right? Well, now here he is on Malice mode. What the heck even is that thing? Get away from me! Ah! And that's all you need to know about Malice Mode. Here is the list of mods that I used in this playthrough. And without further ado, let's begin the Malice Mode journey. It is time. What should my name be? This is actually a tough choice. Stinky. All right, here we go. The legend of Pee Pee Poo Poo Stinky. Chat, you get to decide the world name. Name the world me smile face. Like that? Are we in a Greek his voice? <laughs> Loading world data, settling liquids. <gasps> there it is. Oh, I didn't uh, activate revenge either. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, So we are going revenge mode. Death mode, malice mode. There we go. Is this gonna unpause it? What? Terraria! Can't, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Stop! That was lag, chat. Okay, I think my spawn was like around here, so let's just torch, torch. All right. All right, boys. Okay, okay. Now we can start the beginnings of this humble abode. Wait, this is, this is, we're playing with modern Terraria here. Hold on, chat. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Look at that. Look at how beautiful this is. All right, boys, let's start our first underground Dell chat. You guys don't understand. If you've never played this mod before, holy crap. You get so much like dick. I'm almost dead. Like dick. Huh? Why are you adding me? You get so much like dick. I'm almost dead. I say, if you've never played this mod before. I was going to say digging power. <laughs> On the Ooh, run. I can make a topaz hook. Oh, dude. Hooks are game changers right here. Boom. Boom. Now we can mine like a gamer, dude. Final time we're going underground. I'm going to get my diamonds here. We're going to be able to make magic storage. Then we can play the game. Oh, 
It's time, boys. Looks like Emerald. It looked like Emerald. That's why I didn't freak out. Oh, we can make our freaking uh, magic store. Let's do that. Now we are ready. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my. They upped the slots as well. <gasps> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Watch this. Dirt. Oh, <laughs> oh I love this mod for your basil books. Oh, gosh. Hey, all right, we're ready or not. All right. I think we're good. We got everything, though, boys. I have no space to run around, though. I need to get out of my base. All right, here we go. I instantly took damage. I'm dead. I need an arena for this. Yeah, okay, okay. Now we're making it. Next time Cthulhu comes in here, I'd like to see him try. All right, what should we do? I kind of want the next tier pickaxe as well, but I need a meteorite for that. And how do you get a meteorite again, boys? Beat the evil boss, shadow orb, oof. All right, life crystal, let's finish him off. One more, baby. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, full HP, boys. We are ready to go. Uh, buff up. Here he comes. Oh, he's huge. What the? That's one big mama jama there, boys. Okay. No way. Yeah. I did die to King Slime. Let's go up into the sky, boys. Whee! There we go. Sky chest gives me a fledgling. Huh? Wait, I just got wings. Oh my. 1.4 wings, baby. Wait. Oh, shoot. Is it auto shoot as well? No way. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this bow's bussing. All right. I don't think we're going to do Ike Cthulhu, but let's do King Slime. I'll show him who's boss. Woo. Hey, you thought. You thought. Like his wings, boy? They say it couldn't be done. Dang it. They said it couldn't be done. Wooly, you're not going to kill a malice mode boss on the first day. Wooly, you're not going to do it. What did I say? What did we get? Because that is the end of day one, boys. All right, it's Cthulhu time, boys. Oh, shoot, he came in right away. What is this? Oh, come on. Aim, aim. Yeah. No, woo, woo. we got it. How did I live? Ice mirror, boom. Now we've unlimited TPs back into the base. Okay, uh, we need to expand our housing. That's the first step here. So let's get some wood. Okay, tell me you have not seen a better looking house. Look at this. The Chump Chateau looks mwah. Desert Scourge time? Oh, shoot. Oh, he's a big boy. Holy damage. Who said a uh, Desert Scourge Malice Mode was a pain? Oh, he's big. Uh oh. Um, I've made a mistake. Oh! Heart right there. Heart's right there. Yeah! No way that hit me. No shot that. I, I can't. I can't. Where, is there a knockback immunity potion? I want that potion right now. Oh, my. Ah! Boo. Ah! Stop. Dude, this boss is impossible. <laughs> what? Stop. Stop. <laughs> I have my pickaxe out. What is that? Stop. Oh, my. What is this game? I had it. I had I had it. I had You know what? I'm going to do some reconstruction here. All right. I think that's good. I'm going for it. What am I stuck on? No, 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 no. Oh, my. More spike balls needed. Oh, was that a spike ball issue? What the heck was that? Actually, though, what the heck was that? Did we do it? I struggled with that. All we had to do was spiky ball. What do we do next? We got Eater World, so we have the pickaxe. We should go down to the hell. Oh, we got a, we got a, a dude, a dude. Holy, he's right under lava though. It's kind of, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Oh my, no, no. All right, Biome Blade. Boys, this thing is disgusting. Ting. And then, chop, chop, chop. But wait, there's more. Ting. And then, Oh, it is the same. Okay, cool. You think this one's probably better for bosses? It propels me towards it, but then away. So it keeps knocking me away. I think it's going to be insane for bosses. What do you guys say we go to Skeletron? All right, pretty sure you can go as far as... Is that right there? I think... I don't think I die until it gets to the point where it's blocked off. And then if you go past that, you die, right? I think I can keep going. Ah! Okay. Okay. All right. Buff it up. It's too easy. It really is. It really is too easy. 
Okay, let's get, um, I feel like 10 of each. I have enough money. I'm a high roller. What can I say? Get 30 for perma buffs with potions. Oh, is that how it works? Wait, 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 wait. So if I get 30 stacks of these and then I go to the squirrel, I just win? Let's see. That seems kind of busted, actually. Spelunker. Oh, shoot. So what does that mean? Wait, it looks like it's the same, though. Look at active buffs. Oh, if you have 30, it's just perma. Oh, my. Wait, that's busted. Holy guacamole. We're kind of gaming. All right, so we got perma potion buffs going. What boss can we do, boys? We can do, we can probably do slime god. Honestly, boys. It's ready to game. Oh, stop. 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 I hate slimes. I hate slimes. Come on, punk. Let's go. Me and you. Come on. One hit. One hit. One hit. One big hit. That was not a big hit. Come on. Wow. Wow. Zero percent HP, by the way. Let's go. It's the wrong weapon. How did this get on? I hit the wrong key, I guess. All right. So we stat a gel and take down the Skeletron here. Uh, this got a little scary there. All right, go. Big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn. Big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn. Huge damage. Oh my gosh. I, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage now. What? Oh. Are you going to craft the Slime God Geletic Sword? Oh, yeah, that thing was pretty good. Wait, that thing was nuts. Thank you for reminding me of that. Ah, we need to kill it again. What's the worst that could happen? Ah! Ah! Move! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, get that guy out of my face. Look at this bad boy. Tell me Skeletron stands even a chance. Yeah, this sword is so much better. Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at that damage. Let's go. Skeletron. Okay. I was griefing. I was griefing. I'm griefing again. Let's go. It really is that easy. All right. It's guide time, boys. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to die. What is that? Excuse me? Stop. Stop! Wait! Oh! <laughs> what? No, no, no! We might be running out of platform here, boys. This is uh, a lot tankier than I thought it would be. He's fast. He's fast as heck now, dude. 6%! Come on! really is that easy it really is that when you're a gamer like me it really is that easy baby let's go so as you saw with the pre-hard mode footage on malice mode all bosses start in their enraged forms and have additional speed damage and health on top of various mechanical changes basically if a boss teleports it does so faster more frequently and right at the start of the fight same goes for dashes shooting lasers any and everything they do is dialed up all the way to 11 which is a pretty crazy experience to say the least i had forgotten that 1.4 added the fledgling wings that you can get essentially at the very very beginning of a playthrough and those aided me greatly without them i don't want to know how much more time i would have spent in pre-hard mode nonetheless after taking down the wall of flesh the hard mode journey began as usual or not quite you see calamity mixes up progression in a few different ways throughout an entire playthrough and here at the start of hard mode where you normally would take the pwn hammer that you get from the wall and start breaking demon altars left and right calamity instead has you straight back to killing you can still go and break altars just instead of them spawning the various hard mode ores they now drop some some of the souls that you need to progress. This means that, as I said, your first priority turns from mining into killing, and I begin my spree by taking down Cryogen for his wings, as well as the Cryonic Ore that spawns on his death. Then come the much familiar mech bosses. None of them really posed a huge threat, just a couple of attempts on each to take all three down. And with their deaths came the usual three tiers of early hard mode ores and the almighty hallowed bars. At this point, my early hard mode prep had finished, and my journey to the Moon Lord could finally commence. We have to do something before we kill Cryogen. And I already forgot what it was. Oh, Mimics. One chest down. Boom. There it is. All right. And then we put a key inside of it. Watch this, boys. Bah! I think center's fine. Bottom center. And we got it. Sweet. All right. That's it. Oh, life fruit number one. Easy clap. Easy clap. Look at that. One golden heart. One golden heart of the mini. All right. We have 500 or 600 HP. 645. Okay. True. Caustic edge. Boom, bulky, sick. Okay, uh, Queen Slime can be fought at any time, I believe. So let's just, uh, buzz. Ah, ah, four, 800! 800! 800! Giga Chad weapon, dude. No way I died with slime, boys! Not today! 
hear that thing? <laughs> Hook of dissonance. Wait, what? Ooh. Let's do that. Uh, we're basically full HP. We don't need an arena for Cryogen. Cryogen's a noob boss. If you die to Cryogen, you're a noob. The date owls. Actually, I kind of want hollowed armor. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Easy. Oh, look at that arena room. Looking nice. Looking juicy. Oh, we got Cryogen's wings. Let's go. There it is. That's it right there. This is cryonic, and I think I can mine it with cobalt. Oh, no. So it, it is post mech box. Okay. All right, let's just kill a mech boss then. Screw it. Hit it. Stop. What? Oh, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's too easy when you're a gamer. All right, code breaker. How do we make a code breaker? Oh, here we go. Okay. We just place it. No decryption computer installed. Okay. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Let's go! Okay. Cost 500. Go. Oh, shoot. Here we go, boys. Hacking into the mainframe. Let's go. I need another one. Okay, let's let's make a little base of operations for all of our power cell factories. Because we have more. Uh, let's dig out, like, down here, actually. This will be cool. Oh, this looks sick. All right, here's my tech room, guys. Okay, but we have our weapon. It's charging up. What's the maximum charge on it? Current charge, 100%. Ninety nine point seven. All right, destroy your time, boys. Ready to go with the buffs? Here we go. Boom, boom. Time to game. Oh, he's he's large. So why is this good? Okay, I'm making mistakes. I'm making big mistakes. I okay, okay. I lag. <laughs> I said. <"Brr." laughs> okay, dude. What is that damage? <laughs> That's insane damage. Okay, can I mine cryo ore now with titanium? The first, the moment of truth. This is cryonic. Heck yeah. All right, Daedalus armor coming in hot. What camera over the minimap area? I think the camera's fine here. Oh, you guys want camera up there? I mean, I can do that. There. That looks kind of weird. You look weird flipped. I know, right? All right. This is the final, final camera. But now I'm like actually out of the way of everything. Like actually. Daedalus. Is Daedalus even like, is it? It's probably way better than Statagel. Boom, boom, boom. All right, what's the set bonus? Oh, you can see it below the water. Oh, that's actually, oh, that's kind of scary, bro. Oh, no shot. No, surely it didn't just do 25% of its HP. Look at that thing moving. That's so cool. <laughs> Dude, how do you get masturbate chat? Actually. Okay, how do we get masturbate? That's what I want. Who is shooting me right now? Huh, bunch of these soul slurpers, dude. They're <laughs> Your soul is mine. <laughs> Let's just kill Skeleton. Tron. Uh, first try. Let's just kill him. How about that, chat? You guys, does that sound good to everybody? We're just killing first try. Here we go. Come on, dude. Hit him like twice and he's dead. 3%. Come on. Come on. Let's go. First try, actually. Let's go. Huge. Consecrated stone. All right, cool. So now we get uh, hallowed bars. We need to make a pickaxe axe. We can go mine chlorophyte, which is a massive. Oh, you know what we need? We need to make an arena for uh, Plantera real quick. That's what we need. Hey, here's Plantera. We should just dig this out then. After the mech bosses fall, Calamity's progression is largely the same as Vanilla, with Plantera being the next major objective. The only real difference is that Calamitous, rather the Calamitous doppelganger, ooh, is also thrown into the mix. Both Plantera and Calamitous are similar enough in difficulty, and on Malice, require you to farm for every weapon, armor, and accessory upgrade available to you. So that's exactly what I did. And after not too many attempts, brought both both Calamitous and Plantera down, opening up the path to, of course, the Moon Lord. <laughs> is Abaddon the thing that makes me immune to this debuff? What am I doing? Oh, it is! How many of you? How many of you guys knew? Probably so how many of you knew? How many of you knew? And didn't tell me, huh? How many? 
Easy. Easy. Who is this guy? Master Dodger. Go. Oh. Yes. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely doing the same, if not more. We're just going to pwn hammer it up. Not now. Fly through there. There we go. Okay. Insane. Insane. Who is this guy? Pwn hammer is the best. The ponage hammer is the best jet. Okay. Let's do a house. Do the witch doctor. Be someone else. Uh, did I just mess it up? What am I doing? There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Who is this guy? Is Daedalus? Is Turtle better than Daedalus? Out is better if you're good at the game, so you better use the turtle. What's that supposed to mean, Trey? Hallowed is better if you're good at the game, so you better use turtle. I think about that. This is what I think about that, punk. You know what? Just to spite you, let's craft it. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. Coming in hot. All right. I don't think I need like an arena or anything with this guy. He's not super difficult. I might get stuck on terrain and stuff. Okay. Let me just get stuck immediately. Great start. Oh, I'm dying. I think this is going to be better for uh, Astrum. Oh, shoot. Where did 5%? Maybe we should just do Gollum. Honestly, I think I can kill Gollum easier than this guy. There's the temple. Okay. Uh, can we one-shot the Gollum? See what happens? This is a joke, right? This is a joke of a fight, right? Doubter's feeling real bad right now. Doubter's feeling real bad right now. Did I not get the pixel? Isn't it a drop? No shot. I want to... Ah! The head. Oh. Wait, where's the Pixar? Okay, it must be a craft. It has to be a craft. Shiny stone. Wait, it is a drop. I knew it. Wait, I, di I killed him twice and I didn't get Pixar? Okay, now we have a Pixar. Let's go. Why did it not drop? It, I, it's supposed to be a drop. There we go. Boom. Oh, I'm ready. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's kill Leviathan. Oh, we should kill Leviathan too. What a joke of a boss. What a prank. It's like Gollum all over again. Ah! Where's my parry? Die. Parry, you stupid. Thank you. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. First try. You guys ready for the hardest boss fight in the entire world? Get absolutely bullied. Get absolutely bullied. All right, there we go. Die. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> Did you guys bait me? Is this Soul Harvester even good? Look at the range on this! It's less range! Voice? Oh. How long? Here we go. I got a Come on! Yes! Woo! Okay, big damage. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah, stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, and now, true biome blade. Oh, let's kill Moonlord. We can kill Moonlord. Easy. Easy peasy. Holy damage. All right, so this one we want to keep. So now we go here. Oh! No way! If I get a crit, hits everything on my screen. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, boys. Moon Lord time. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, the damage. Nice damage, dude. Very nice damage. I'm dead. Where am I? <laughs> Okay. Um, also, like, right before I started stream, I crafted this weapon. Auto homing projectiles. Uh, so this thing might be pretty good. Because my aim is, um, questionable on some bosses. Okay, that's good homing. That is very good homing. Look at that. I don't have to aim. Oh! <laughs> come on! Okay. 4%. Okay, hit by this. Oh! Come on! 
One percent, baby. Let's go. Easy clap arena. Here is where a vanilla Terraria playthrough would end. The death of the Moon Lord. But as you know, this ain't no gosh darn regular playthrough. This was my fifth or sixth time going through Calamity, so I had a pretty dang good idea of what to expect going forward in terms of general progression. There were a few best in slot accessories that I was a bit hazy on. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you by now that the accessory grind in Calamity is immensely satisfying. Continually growing in power via new accessory crafts and drops is definitely a major highlight in any playthrough. But the extent of my preparation stopped at Revengeance mode as it was all that I'd previously played on, meaning that I was going in blind for the most significant changes brought with Death and Malice modes, the boss fights. Man, oh man, the boss fights. The post Moon Lord content that Calamity adds by itself is absolutely insane, but on this difficulty, well, just wait and see for yourself. We got the Kirby! All right, so now we have our boots and our wing slot, and then we have two free accessory slots. Oh, well, let's go over there. You have actually the Ark of the Elements? Oh, yeah! Okay, we're gonna use that weapon. Thank you. Look at the animations, dude. Look at how smooth this stuff is. Play Bringer Goliath. That's the next one. One of the best tracks. Easily. Get over here, boy. Bye-bye, Plague Bringer. Empress of Light. You think we get Empress of Light? What's the worst that can happen? No, no, no. How are you this close to me? No. 7%. Come on. Oh my. Ah, no. Yes. What's my HP? Oh my gosh. Solar armor. 29% damage. Uh. All right, let's go to Profane Guardians. I think we can get these. Ooh, ooh. Dude, I, I, I can't even focus on dodging because there's too many balls. Healer, 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 healer. All right, go for it. Boom. Ba, 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 ba. One more. <laughs> die. Die, die, die. Interesting fight. Okay. So that one was harder at the start. It got easier as the fight went on. Freaking bum rush the healer. Good fight. That was a fun fight too. I like that one. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need armor upgrades right now. I think we just go to... Straight to Providence. Just get her in there. I don't think we need armor upgrades right now. Providence. Fifty-seven percent. We're not even to phase two. Dude, this boss is like borderline unfair. Here we go, boys. It's time.
think I'm a video gamer. Oh. I think I have all the gear that I need right now. The the banshee hook is really powerful. Look at that. This thing hits like four times. Oh, oh. Mwah. Go! Big dim! Big dim! Oh my! I just bullied him. I actually just bullied him. All right, it is time. Cosmic worm. Summon. This will be quick. All oh right. no. Let's see. Let's see how quick it'll be, Mithrix. What? Uh, 11%. Uh-oh! Oh! Oh! Ooh, did you see that? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh! Can you die? <laughs> no way! Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no shot! Game. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me! Nah, screw it. I'm going in. I ain't no baby. This is it right here. Oh! I'm a believer. I'm a believer. We're all both. There it is. Legendani. Oh! Actually, this one's pretty good, too. The range is... Pretty, almost the whole screen. Almost the entire screen. Is it, is it, uh, Yarn time? Oh gosh, it is. Let's go. Okay. That was close. That was close. 14%. Ah, oh. What is hitting me? Why am I taking one day? Do you not get region at all in this fight? What is this fight? Do you not get any region? No! No, I didn't see... Dude, he ins... Oh! So, Exomex, I've never even seen these guys. Um, and then Escal, Supreme Calamitous. Okay, Yaron Relic. Look at that bad boy. You get the Miramasa? What's it called? The Mirasima? Is this good? Literal butt crack. I'd rather sniff a booty than use this sword. Sword is good? You're trolling. Yeah, okay, this is doing some damage. I like it. I like it. Okay, okay. Let's just do these. Let's do Artemis and Apollo. Surely they're not that bad. Oh my gosh. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, shoot. Oh! What is this? What is this? Oh my. Dude, we've made him blunder. <laughs> okay, I need a better boss song on, dude. What's the best boss song? I know, I know. Hold on. I know the best boss song. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, the worm. Ah! Oh, he's fastest. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hectic doing worm first, but if you get it down, the fight is a joke. Easy. All right, here we go, boys. Now we're in business. Come on, baby. Big damn, big damn, big damn. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. It's really that simple when you're a video gamer. All right, Exo Box. That's the the mount. Oh, shoot. This isn't even fast. Look, and it's like instant direct. Dude, this is kind of good. Surely this weapon is like absolutely bussing. 36K without the homing beam. Okay. All right, boys. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Can we take down Supreme Calamitous, the final boss of Terraria Calamity on the first try? Um, what? What is this? This is completely different. Dude, move this little 
Are you kidding me? There we go. All right, how much damage did I do? Was it like 2%? We got it. We got my chair. That's why I lost. Look at this. Look at this, dude. What the heck? She has to spawn stuff, dude. Like, she has... Oh, here we go. Here we go. These little punks. Let's go. What are we fighting? Oh, shoot. What is that? Ah! Let's go! Get me in there! Come on! Let's go! Did we do it? <laughs> that was like the first try. That was the second try. But I died because I don't even know. Dude, what the heck? This boss is too easy. Let's go, baby. What the heck? Ah, oh, calamitous relic, bro. Look at that. Boom. All right, we have to make one more. Yeah, we're done, bro. We literally beat the game, except for freaking adult Elon worm. Yeah, try cactus, true Paladinian hammer of might or whatever. There it is, dude. There it is. Oh, baby, this thing is nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is the Elon worm a worm? Wait. Yes. Oh, he's faster than me. He I'm at max speed. I'm at max speed and he's faster than me. <laughs> if I don't take contact damage, I'm good. Baited and now smarting. <laughs> Let's go! Who said this is the hardest boss, huh? That one I just obliterated in two milliseconds? That was the hardest boss thing? Get the heck. Get, get the heck. With the death of the adult Edelon worm comes the end of my malice mode journey. Not really shown in this video is the extensive farming, building, and just general preparation that went into each boss fight, as well as a lot, a lot of failed attempts. But Wooji, I didn't get a very good idea of most of the fights, and I'm pretty sure you missed a couple ones too, and well, there is one last thing on the Calamity menu. Enjoy. All right, do we try boss rush, boys? Let's go! Oh no! Oh shoot! Ah! Okay, now that's better, that's better. <laughs> oh, the worm bosses, give me more! Let's go! Oh shoot! Moon Lord! No! Uh-oh! Can I hit her yet? Who's next? The DOG! We're like the dead OG! I am the god which you cannot devour! <laughs> <laughs> Die! Die! That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the freaking Calamity playthrough. That was so much fun, man. That was a lot of fun, man. That was uh, over a week. Dude, look how sick you look, too. Man. What a cool game. I love this mod, man. Calamity mod. Hopefully, if you guys that, number one, hadn't played Terraria before, hopefully this showed you that Terraria is a freaking awesome game. And number two, if you haven't played modded Terraria, which is freaking incredible, there you go. There you go. 44 hours, 32 minutes, and 45 seconds. We have done basically everything in the Calamity Malice mode. All the relics are right here, boys. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Rock. Wait. Rock. Yeah. Rock next to the relics. Perfect to end our collection, boys. Here we go. There it is. There it is, boys. To end out our collection. The rock. The single one singular pebble.